Yo, what's up? My name is Asa Asika, and you're now watching Outside Daily. Uh, wake up. I used to wake up at like 8, 9 o'clock every morning, but my body clock's messed. So, nowadays, if I actually don't have an appointment, I wake up when I wake up, to be honest. It's normally like 11, 12. I come to the office, chop up with our staff, sit down my partner, Bizzle. Depending on it's a day, like, for example, like yesterday, I don't know if I can't see a video, so I was on set there. Um... I don't have a specific, I don't have a tailored day because of the kind of job I have. The days when I'm not even in the office at all having meetings, the days I'm on set shooting, uh, like tomorrow I have meetings and I go to the airport. Um, I don't have a tailored day, man. I haven't had one of those in a while. <laughs> I mean, obviously I do get tired sometimes, but I'm living my dream. I've always wanted to do this, so let's take a nap and I'm fine. Don't get lost in the sauce. Don't get carried away. You're not the artist. It depends on where you're starting off at. In Nigeria, we don't have booking agents. You're the booking agents. <laughs> so you're probably just gonna have to like uh, meet up with promoters, know what's going on. Just you probably just have to like a social calendar so you know what events are happening and who to reach out to. That's in Nigeria. Abroad, if you're an appropriate artist, you probably have to be at a certain level before booking agents to so be interested in talking to you. So you probably have to finish your homework at home first. And, you, and even abroad, like, if you're an African artist, you probably have to be at a certain level because why they put you on a catalog and they're not getting any business off of the fact you're with them in the first place. Uh, sports, man, I'm just trying to grow, trying to grow, man. It's a new terrain for us. We're learning as we go. I mean, it's the same thing we did with music. We learned on the job, so secure more clients, make some more money for our clients, sign these deals. Um, the plug in general, like, and we just opened the sports department, music and events are doing quite well for us. We're going back and forth on this really sick deal where I wouldn't have to work that much anymore. Hopefully, we can sign in the next few months. Um, and expand, man. I'm just trying to ex expand, take on more talent, provide more jobs for the lazy youth of Nigeria. Um, more, I'm trying to create more streams of income for, for the plug, I mean, in general. So, Trying to dabble outside entertainment a bit, working on some other stuff, and then just growing the plug. Why well, the Altair granddaddies now? Why well, the ones that I was there when TZ came up with the word Altair? <laughs> DRB, that's fam. I mean, like it's 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 in a really good place. Like it's the best p position it's ever been in. Like I'm happy to see it, and like I do my best to support it. But I think it has a lot of potential. I think in the next two three years, like I mean, look at the native native land show for example. That's, one, that, that's probably the. We're going to find a show that for the, the, for the for energy, or like. That's the closest thing we have to like Astro World in Lagos. Like, it's insane. Damn. My man took it back. Concrete Rose. Like, like. Honestly, Concrete Rose time, I didn't send David. So, I didn't think I was still like that. But, like, yeah, I always knew David would be a superstar. I just didn't know how much of a superstar he would become. Yo, what's up? My name is Isa Asika, and you're now watching Altair Daily. The Alternative Network.